What's your name? My name is Dora. What? Dora. Dora. Dora from Dresden. Dora. Hello, Dora. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. In the uh, old Rotterdam Theater and in Rotterdam. I was here um, 30 years ago at the festival uh, when uh, Tarkovsky was here. So I, f I found out yesterday from the office uh, 34 years ago. Right. And I didn't it's recognize, like I didn't <laughs> recognize, exactly. But I didn't recognize Rotterdam anymore. When I was here at the festival, there were animals in the park and all that. Now it's all, and I had a boat for the uh, for the festival. Uh huh. We had well, the the deers yeah. too in the center in the city yeah. center. Yeah, I saw really? them. I mean, they were in the middle of the yeah. Oh, in the middle. Nice. But what happened to the deers? They all got eaten. No, I. <laughs> By the, by the festival, uh, they got <laughs> eaten audience. by the uh, <laughs> by the Manhattan, like crazy Manhattan actors, Hotel. probably. <laughs> they were the, they had l for years the speciality lamb shops. Oh yeah, like that's that. nice. Yeah. Mm. So they were running out. They of were deers. became famous. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. only know that there's of photos, so I find it very interesting to uh, hear this story. And I can imagine for you, as a director, you uh, work with somebody with so much experience because he has made so many films and uh, worked on them. Was that intimidating in the beginning? No, it was very professional from the beginning on and uh, Udo is someone who brings a very good spirit to a set and uh, within one hour he knows the name of every uh, of every man, everybody on the set actually and they all love him so um, it was a big fun for me to work with him and uh, yeah. Is it something, well, because you also uh, wrote it, while writing you, can you forget him as a persona? Can you only think about the character? I think it's very different from writing, the, the writing process, what uh, the imagination of the writing process and what you shoot at the end of the day because uh, every actor is playing himself at the end of the day and it's, it's mixing Which up with the text. Which is the most difficult thing yeah, to do. Is, uh, yeah. How uh, do you do that? Well, the thing is, I uh, I worked uh, uh, almost all the movies with Lars von Trier, and Lars von Trier, uh, a favorite line is, and he says it to everybody, is "Don't act." And uh, with uh, David, when we start working, it is like. I didn't do anything. It was just I had wonderful text. I had a great partner and my wife, uh, Sunny Mellis. Uh, it just went. It's just like the house became our house, a big house, and there was a dining table. You sit at the dining table and you speak, but you don't act. And when is the when does that start the not acting from what moment in the process? Uh, from the uh, beginning, I'm not being another person and act when I'm not in front of the camera and then it's I stop the other acting. Way <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not like that. And it, it was um, very well written. It's very witty, the show, and very there's no taboo. And the question also was. Uh, when the German press was uh, seeing it, that they say all wrote why something like this cannot be produced in Germany, why only in Vienna, in Austria, uh, because it's totally, it's I wouldn't say the word strange. Strange is strange. Uh, it's totally different. It's true. It's how life is. It's corrupt. There is every. Everybody sleeps with everybody, and nobody cares, and everybody is corrupt. And uh, and in the in the show is I play uh, the the man who has a lot of money, and uh, a lot of things happen, and he needs a liver, a new liver. And then he says, in the first episode, he says uh, has a whole family says to his wife, oh, please bring the whole family together. And he says, uh, I need a new liver. Who will get it to me, uh, get all my money? That is the film. So it's like uh, 
octopus with uh, the brain and the money and a lot of arms going to find uh, the a liver. liver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell you if they find it or not. I can only tell you in the episode eight I'm still alive. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Because exactly. you don't act. So. Exactly. <laughs> I don't <laughs> act. I would be the photograph of myself. Would be here. Also, uh. also a pleasure. What uh, and when do you know by reading a script, a scenario, that uh, that a role fits you? Well, when I read a script, I read first only my role. I don't read the script. I read only my part. And then I read it together, and then I see how I fit in there, and if I'm necessary in there. Of course, if you have eight uh, scripts, the, the of course you uh, read the whole thing. But in general, when I have a regular script for a movie, I read my part, and then when I realize uh, the film, the story is also good without my part. So why should <laughs> I be in the movie? Uh, the, when people, young directors, send me scripts and they say, uh, only you can play it. And then I read it and anybody who can walk and talk can play it. So of course <laughs> I say no. <laughs> Were you afraid because was it uh, clear that Udo Kier had to uh, play this part from the beginning? No. No. Because there was, um, uh, first we shot uh, with, uh, uh, with Gerd Voss, who was a very uh, famous uh, theatre Actor they called him Vienna. the king of the Borg Theater, which yeah. is in Vienna, the, or in Europe, one of the biggest theater. Uh, but he unfortunately died during the uh, shooting. Mm. And so we had uh, uh, to change within one week, actually. And uh, so I called Udo because I always wanted to work with Udo. And, uh, and we were very lucky because he was in Munich at that time. And uh, so. Uh, he was interested, he had to read the scripts in very short time, probably he just read his parts. <laughs> 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 no, only the, no, but first I, but I didn't want yeah, to do it yeah. because uh, I had doubts, not of uh, David or the story, I had doubts to replace the king of a theater, to replace the valet it's easy, but not the king. And then uh, when we talked, he was still alive. He was sick, very mm -hmm. sick. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to Vienna. And because there's a tradition at the Borg Theater, when some uh, die, they, they go around the building. With, and I said, oh my God, and I'll be in Vienna. And the, But he was a very good actor, and I respected uh, the story, I mean, and I realized also from the beginning that I he was I'm totally different from how he was, a, a great actor, uh, but uh, I w I'm different, and I was very, uh, very uh, really happy yes that all the uh, the because they had shooted already, so my wife had already played with uh, the the actor Gert and also my sons. So now they had to accept me because, but it was good. They all responded. They all were, they were good. I was nervous the first day, and then I had a wonderful actor. We were jogging, and he said, "Udo, uh, you're doing that very well." And Gerd could have never done that. So they welcomed me to the mm. group of uh, very good actors, and and they all were not acting. So that was good. We were just became friends and had a I had the no master. Job on the set. <laughs> the <laughs> master. <laughs> telling that us. Nobody asked. It was very easy for me. <laughs> Nobody asked. <laughs> it so easy. was like a documentary. Is it because it's a series, of course, not a film? And um, what's the biggest difference for you? The length. The length. And is it in uh, the role? Because can you develop the character more? It was developed already in the in the scripts, and uh, it uh, you have you more you become more quiet because you have s uh, what is it? Uh, it's much, just like I feel like in a car. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, in a plane. And uh, yeah, okay, let's uh, we play <laughs> on stage. Um, and because you have so much time, when you get a regular script. 
But, uh, but if you know you have eight books at home, and so you have so much time to develop, to come to the point, and it's just uh, episodic like Dallas or Denver, a crazy uh, corrupt family who uh, full of intrigues and there be their alliance in there. My, my uh, wife plays with lions. In my dream, and it's very, it's very, it's very interesting, and it, uh, that's that's why it's also uh, the critic they liked they liked it very much, and uh, now on the twelves of uh, on the twelves of this uh, month it will be shown at uh, RTL, so even in Holland you can see it, and I don't know the, I think it's quarter past eight, I don't know exactly the time, but it's definitely starting on the 12th of February. Yeah, and we can buy it on DVD, right? Yeah. And you can buy, hello, uh, <laughs> and you can uh, uh, buy it on DVD, yes. And is it more, uh, uh, as a director, is it uh, you learn something from every episode? That you think after shooting, you think, oh, next time I will do this oh, We don't do it like uh, from episode to episode. You, you shoot from location to location, actually. So you, uh, that's uh, something uh, very difficult for actors because uh, they have to play a scene from the third episode, and yeah. uh, one hour later they have to do a, uh, something from the last episode, probably or whatever. So I think that's uh, really uh, the most difficult thing uh, uh, with uh, doing series uh, because uh, at the 19 minute movie you don't have so many. Uh, jumping arounds like uh, in these time lapses. So I think, uh, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but. No, you're correct, but uh, when I made a few uh, films and sometimes they start with the end and it's always the same. When I'm making then the film, I always say to the director, could we please try to shoot the end again? Because how uh, do you yeah. know you, when you build a house, you don't start with the roof. <laughs> and then you build the house down. So it's the same with uh, you know how do you how do you know to get to that point when you uh, 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 unless somebody shoots you you fall down you're dead that's okay. But if you have to uh, uh, say something or play something that's uh, not so good when you do the end. I prefer every actor prefer I can speak for I guess for every actor to do chronological, to start from the beginning to yeah. the Does end. Does it ever happen? Uh, it depends. Lars von Trier, um, when we had only one set, we shot from the beginning to the end. Uh, yeah, Doc will, every director would prefer Doc to will, do it yeah. like that. Because uh, you, you but see things it's not possible. Also, it's it builds much, up. Um, it's the same with the, with the soup. When you cook a soup, you have to... Yeah, but I guess even Lars had to, when Kingdom did, didn't shoot no, a king the no. Yeah, I guess they have to do no, it no, location-wise as well. No, no, but Dogville was one set once. Uh, yeah, but uh, they, yeah, that was in one big hall, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is no. it something because uh, for us, the IFFR, it's the first time we actually uh, show a series during the festival instead of only films. Do you think, um, do they, uh, how do you say that, do they uh, make each other better or is our series slowly uh, killing films? I think it's a two different, different things. things. <laughs> it's a totally, it's a totally different thing. Yeah. I mean, I, I just finished a film nearby here in Antwerpen, uh, Iron Sky Number no. Two, where I live on the moon and I play a double role. Uh, I play Adolf Hitler riding on the dinosaurs. So, it's always a uh, series doesn't kill anything. It's just uh, it's a totally different thing. You follow, you follow. That's why. I remember when I lived in Germany, and I was a when I was a young man, and they had series on TV. They called it uh, uh, Straßenfeger, which means there was at that evening nobody on the street. They all wanted to watch Dallas. They all because you follow, you grow. It's like a family in a series. You grow with them, and you want to know at the end. Ah, how does it go? Then the next week, and that's that's uh, that's why. It's always at every end of the first episode something is basically little thing happen where the people become uh, uh, curious. Yeah. See how how is oh wow next Wednesday we have to see it and that's good. So it's a different thing. 
Hey, but you live in uh, the United States, right? Mm -hmm. For, yeah, so... Uh, 25 years. 25 yeah. years. Mm -hmm. And um, do people watch it over there? Is it Can it be watched in the States? No, but yeah. I have it on the uh, DVD. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can watch it, I can show it. Yeah, but, but there are <laughs> plans for a remake yeah. for the United States. So uh -huh. ITV Studios bought the remake rights. Yeah, maybe and George Clooney will play my part then, yes. and uh, Pamela Anderson will be his wife. He's too old. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I don't know. Um, but uh, you, you probably can buy it in the United States within the next few months, yeah. because there is an international distribution. Uh -huh. I think uh -huh. Global does that. So yeah, I, I was wondering, because I can uh, imagine, as you say, the example, if you are in a series, that people... Uh, if you walk the streets and you yeah. people really feel attached to who you are uh, more than even with a film because mm. you really become a persona no, yeah it's you want to you thing, want yeah. to follow and you want to know the end and you know you, the end is after eight episodes so but uh, let's hope and uh, how the people react today they have played today all eight hours will there be a sequel no I'm still alive at the end. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but sequels is only good if you do them right away. Why yeah. is that? Because there's so much happening with him, so much happening with me. I made so many films afterwards. Uh, so you be a different person. You cannot, or you, or you copy yourself. And that I don't want to do. A, a sequel is like the TV shows when they made, uh, what is it, Criminal Mind? They offered me a part now. And it's episode 1150. <laughs> <laughs> so they're doing it since 2000. I, think, I guess the team is 2005. Uh, so doesn't matter. You meet you a very tired team there. Yeah, you go to, <laughs> you go to work. You go uh, uh, every day uh, when you do, uh, do. They make one episode in a week, and you go there to work. Yeah. That's different. But yeah. you don't make a, uh, a TV show and then f ten years later. How is the liver after 10 years? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, Probably the old don't need one, anyone then. The old one is in a, in a case, <laughs> lit. And it's the just new the head one. of Udok here, the rest is like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> and the new one is inside my body, and the old one is in a kind of a display case. Yeah. What, what's next for you? What's next during the festival? You have a busy schedule? Uh, no, we both go tomorrow. I fly uh, to Cologne to have dinner with Ornella Muti and Franco Nero and the next day I fly back home and then I tell my dog Liza the whole story what was happened in uh, Rotterdam. <laughs> <laughs> what, will be the hi what will be the highlight you tell Liza? Uh, Liza, I, I telephone uh, every day uh, Liza. I call a friend and then he puts the telephone on loud and I say, Liza! And I say, is the tail going? Yes. I say, okay. <laughs> and uh, I will tell the story. And for you? For me? David, I'm yeah. going back to Vienna. Back to Vienna. Yes. And are I'm you, right. are there plans of working together? Always. Always. Of forever. Forever. <laughs> Look, I want. As long as there are enough livers. As long as they're livers <laughs> and you're fine. <laughs> It's like with Lars von Trier, we made the first film together uh, 25 years ago and I make every film with him. When you have friends and, uh, or you become friends like David and they're very uh, good directors, you, as an actor you're trying to stay with them because the whole, the whole business of getting to know each other is all gone. You have already seen each one in kind of maybe strange situation or whatever. And that's why I, uh, when I was younger, I worked with Fassbinder all the time, then came Herzog. So I like to work with the same people, not always new because then you have to get to know each other. Yeah, it's a maybe a waste of time and energy, that part. And I sent him every week an email so he doesn't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Hello, <laughs> and here I am again. <laughs> and of course, every month once I say, what are you doing next? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time. You're welcome. And enjoy, your, uh, enjoy today with the screening. Yes. Yes, Thanks. we do.